Hi Aries, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you and we'll find out what you need to know. This will be for the end of July going into August. Spirits, what's happening with Aries? What's happening with Aries? First card, Eight of Cups. I feel like you're walking away from something, Aries, with the Eight of Cups. But after I get these cards laid out, I'm going to go back through and clarify them. It's like I'm seeing like you're feeling done with something here. Or, let's see. Yeah, this is you walking away. This is your energy the Emperor. This is you taking control and walking away. And this Eight Cups, this is not easy to walk away from. This is something very difficult to walk away from. And then I have the Six of Swords. So I'm seeing you taking control, walking away, moving into calmer water. What's happening with Aries? You could be um, in this energy of thinking with your head and not your heart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. Like someone can come to you, speak to you. You're very kind and giving, but they need to speak the truth. Because if not, you'll use your sword and cut this person off. And that's what I feel like you did here because I'm seeing you walking away. You could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. This is hard to walk away from because I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. They have a lot of love for you. This is someone who's trying to stay in control of their emotions. Male or female, there's no gender in, ta in tarot. What's happening with Aries? I have the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So it's like I'm seeing that you were trying to build a stable foundation with this person. And for some reason it became a heavy burden. I'm seeing a heavy burden here that you're just ready to put down. What's happening with Aries? And then I have the Fool and the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> it's like you're trying to guard yourself, like you're feeling defensive and guarded. So this is why you're trying to take control and walk away. You're sick of feeling on the defense. This is being defensive. And so I see you taking a leap of faith on something here. Not knowing all the steps along the way, but willing to find them on the way down. Find the answers on the way down. What's happening with Aries? I'm seeing that you have a lot of options here, and so there could be some confusion as to just exactly what you want to do here because I'm seeing you taking a leap of faith. It's like the, there's some type of imbalance showing up. A decision needs to be made. What's happening with Aries? The Empress. You're showing up as the Empress. Male or female, place it where it belongs. You are every queen in one in the tarot deck, you possess all of these energies within yourself. You attract, you don't chase. Okay, so now we're going to go through and clarify these cards and figure out what's going on, Aries. I'm going to clarify the Eight of Cups. Something you're walking away from. You're making a judgment call here. I'm seeing an ending. 
I just saw Scorpio energy and ending. I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. I have the Three of Cups. It's like, yeah, I'm seeing you making a judgment call and walking away from someone here that you have a lot of love for. This person has a lot of love for you, too. And, um... Could this judgment call maybe be about a reconciliation? We'll find out as we go along. Because I have the king and the queen of cups here. Two people that are supposed to be together. This three of cups, this could be a three-party situation. Why is the emperor here? This emperor, this is you taking control. I'm seeing material gain coming in for you, but I'm also seeing you being single here, single and abundant. And then I have the Ten of Cups, so I'm seeing you going after your happiness. The Ten of Cups is complete happiness, joy. This is where you're going, because this next card, this is the Six of Swords. This is you moving into calmer water. You could literally be moving here, but this could just be emotionally like you're moving into calmer water. You're moving towards this Ten of Cups. Yeah, there's a connection here that you're moving towards with the Two of Cups. You're walking away from something and whatever this is you're walking away from, this leads you to your Ten of Cups. And this is a connection. This is two people. This could also be a new job because I'm seeing like um, like financial gain here. But you're definitely moving into a lot of happiness here. You're making a head over heart decision with this Queen of Swords energy. It's like you feel like your hands are tied. You feel like you don't have a choice in the matter here. But to put up boundaries Put up your sword. This is a really heavy burden that I'm seeing. Why is the King of Cups here? The King of Swords. I'm seeing someone here that is making a decision. And I don't feel like this is you. Someone's patiently waiting. Someone who, who has a lot of love for you. And they're holding on to you and they don't want to let go. They're holding on to your energy. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I'm going to clarify this Ten of Wands. This is carrying a heavy burden it's sitting next to this other person why is the ten of wands here this is someone who just turned into a heavy burden I feel like like this is someone who's cold stubborn harsh with their words it's like they gave you a headache they put you in a three-party situation. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, they were being a player. I have the Knight, the Knight of Wands sitting on top of the Three of Pentacles. This is someone who was being a player. And so I'm seeing you here all guarded up, being defensive. 
like you're really doing some soul searching going deep within looking for answers and then I see you taking a leap of faith why is the fool here why is the fool here there could be like a new job that you started because I'm seeing something new starting here. Something that you're really excited about. You're coming in now as the Queen of Wands. Something with a lot of material gain. Somebody here is really, really attracted to you. And they're really up in their head. They're like feeling confused. They're in the nightmare card. This is someone who keeps thinking about you and they can't get you off, off of their mind. They're fighting an inner battle within themselves. They're like they're they're wanting to be recognized by you. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? This is someone who admires you. But I feel like you're walking away from this person. I'm seeing you walking away. Clarify this Two of Pentacles. This is you feeling kind of like like some type of imbalance, instability with something or trying to make a decision because I'm seeing you being offered blessings from the universe here. There's a soulmate showing up for you. There's a brand new beginning showing up for you. And so you're walking away from something that was like rocky water and you're walking into complete happiness. There's new beginnings here for you, Aries. And I'm seeing a lot of growth coming in with the Empress card. I'm going to clarify the Empress card. Why is the Empress here? No, maybe this is the person from your past showing up. Because I've got Gemini energy here. It doesn't have to be. I have all the signs here. But I'm seeing a person feeling a lot of regret, sadness. I'm seeing like possibly an ex here showing up and a connection coming together. Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, there's a lot of communication that's going to be coming in back and forth communication really fast. Is this someone that refused your love in the past and caused this three of swords, three swords in the heart, or put you in a three party situation? I'm seeing this person feeling a lot of sadness and regret. They can't stop thinking about you. I've got the devil Capricorn energy. I feel like at one point in time, this person made you really happy with, with the sun card, Leo energy. But I'm seeing here that there was a huge betrayal. There was an ending with the Ten of Swords. And then um, I have blocked communication and Capricorn energy. This can also be referring to someone, some type of ad addiction or a third party. Um... With the, with the devil card here. But I'm seeing this person feeling a lot of sadness and regret now. Okay, so let me grab some of these angel cards for you. 
What's happening with Aries? I have wedding. It says this situation involves marriage. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This could this is, could be a committed relationship. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And then on the bottom of the deck, I have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And let me get you a Moonology card, Aries. What's happening with Aries? You and your loved ones are safe. And conclusions are within reach. Let me just get one more Aries. Okay, so I got two more. Meditate and contemplate. And they're saying be bold and make the first move. Okay, Aries, so I hope these messages brought you clarity so you can see the bigger picture. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can find me easily again. And thank you so much, you guys. I send you lots of love and light. Bye-bye.